Storm and I'm from Littleton, Colorado and I'm part of the Orange Group and today we're all at the museum and we're all looking forward to seeing the different exhibits that it has to offer teaching us about how journalism started and how it's starting to progress and the different changes we can expect and to see how it started and then like as it went time went on how it you know like I said it changed and they have different exhibits of like the Berlin Wall that we're all excited to see and the 9-11 videos and also just um, the different um, Pulitzer Prize winning photos so we all don't really know what to expect, but I know there's a lot in there for us to see, so we're all just really excited, and hopefully we get to see as much as we can in the time we have, so. Uh, I like this photo because it's of little kids falling out of a window, and that's not why I like it, but it's just, it's something that you can't really capture or set up, and it really touches me because it's something that you can't affect, but it captures memory and like a crisis that went on, and it really touches me because you can take the picture and remember it, but you can't save them. And that's hard for me to look at. Okay, we are at the Pulitzer Prize photograph exhibit. And this is a photograph called Brutality in Bangkok, shot in 1977. And it's this kid beating up another kid who was just hanged and this whole group of people who was around. And none of them could really do anything about it because if they were to jump out, they would probably get beaten too. And some of them are actually laughing, which is kind of hard to see because how can you laugh at something so cruel? I don't really know very much about the Kent State problem, but this photo does a pretty good job of explaining what happened. Um, there, were, there was a protest going on and these people thought that they were firing blanks, but there was actually live ammunition and the, this lady came over and found out that her friend had been shot. It was just really scary that something like that would happen, not like 40 years ago, like, it's really not that far removed from us. So. We are in the Sports Illustrated athlete section by Yos, and this is a picture of Michelle Kwan, and I really liked it because I loved Michelle Kwan growing up, and she was one of my, she was my heroes, and I've seen this picture before, and I thought she was really ice skating, that's how it looks, like, it looks like she's on ice, and then I found out in his commentary, she's not at all, it's all effects, and I thought that was really really moving and how he used his photography to give it a whole another look and how he filtered it to change the color and how he used the smog that he said it was the most polluted day and he used the smog to change the aspect of the picture. I really like that. It was the catch that started the 49ers dynasty of the 80s and early 90s. Um, Dwight Clark in the back of the end zone catching a pass from Joe Montana. Um, today is one of the most exciting days in the conference. It's the thing that the kids look forward to, I think, the most. The museum is the mecca for most of them. Um, they want to be here to see the, today's front pages, the FBI exhibit, the Pulitzer Prize winning photos. It is uh, their grand central station of all the things that they love to do. I'm Kevin Rackham. Well, I imagine it'd be kind of difficult just because you don't really know what you're saying. Um, it was definitely a lot easier with the practice. Buzz Aldrin made a giant leap for mankind as they became the first astronauts to walk on the moon's surface. Um, I can't wait to really get closer. It's um, really meaningful because, well, like pretty much a lot of decisions made about this great country are, are made here at the Capitol building behind me. And it's super fun to be here and I'm really excited. Uh, well, this year we have national youth correspondents from all over the country, I think 37 different states. And this is really the student leader in the high school that is, um, you know, not only at the top of their class academically, but really a student leader and has a real passion for journalism, for media, everything from writing to maybe film studies, video, uh, who really wants to look at furthering their career and how they can take experiences networking with, with people, uh, networking with their peers from, again, all over the country to, to take away from this experience what they should do next. Um, this is part of the 9-11 exhibit on the fourth floor of the museum, and this is actually the uh, radio tower that was on top of the South Tower at the World Trade Center. And this exhibit has kind of a special connection to me because I grew up in New York. I'm about 50 minutes north of the city, and it, it was really just, it was tough for America when all this happened, but for New York, it just really hit us hard. 
my dad worked in the city, my aunt lived in the city, so uh, you worry a lot about that stuff when you hear about it. And it, when you're eight and something like this happens, it really wakes you up quickly. It really, it, it really just hits you hard. I mean, you, you don't really think about this kind of stuff happening here. Mm-hmm.